the key to radically changing your view of water and changing your life. Did you know that water, our most essential and revered nutrient for life, also conceals a rarely discussed, biologically destructive form of hydrogen known as deuterium? This deuterium exists in all drinking water. We believe that drinking deuterium depleted water to deplete deuterium is the closest thing today that exists to the mythical fountain of youth. For the last two decades, the topic of health maintenance and optimization has mostly focused on free radical damage and antioxidant therapies. But currently, the trend is shifting toward the deeper and more relevant issue of mitochondrial and metabolic functioning. And this is where the constant damage inflicted by deuterium comes in. The health of our mitochondria suffers when we have too much deuterium in our bodies, so depleting deuterium is quickly becoming the go-to solution for easily optimizing your health and regaining the energy of your youth. You probably never heard of deuterium, but it's everywhere. We breathe it, we drink it, and we eat it. Cellular aging and mitochondrial degeneration are now linked to excess deuterium, usually disguised as semi-heavy water. Two hydrogens plus one oxygen make water, H2O. When you replace one of those hydrogens with deuterium, you get, HDO, semi-heavy water. In a glass of water there are about three drops of this HDO. The more HDO the more damage it does to the mitochondria. What makes deuterium different from normal hydrogen, called proteum, is that it has a neutron, whereas proteum does not. Proteum equals proton and an electron. Deuterium equals proton, electron, and a neutron. Deuterium is twice the mass of regular hydrogen, and this makes it a problem. Here is an important issue with deuterium, a seemingly benign hydrogen isotope. According to the kinetic isotope effect, a carbon-deuterium molecular bond is nine times slower to disassociate than a carbon-hydrogen bond showing us that deuterium replacing hydrogen slows down all chemical biological reactions. Deuterium, being twice the mass of proteum, takes positions in DNA reserved for proteum, distorting the shape of DNA leading to errors in transcription. Deuterium distorts the shape of enzyme molecules and protein folding which causes mutations. Deuterium interference continuously damages the ATP synthase nanomotors that create the energy we need for life. Deuterium is found in all water on Earth, including the water we drink. It's a tiny amount, 150 to 155 ppm, but the cumulative effect is substantial. All food we take into our bodies breaks down to hydrogen and other elements, becoming part of our blood, organs, and DNA. But our cells are only able to utilize regular hydrogen, proteum, successfully. As a result, the presence of heavy hydrogen, deuterium, in the body restricts your ability to create and use energy, limits your DNA's ability to replicate perfectly, and changes how well your body works overall and the rate at which you age. Deuterium slows and impedes chemical reactions at the mitochondrial level by directly compromising the ATP synthase nanomotor by taking the place reserved for a proteum isotope, twice the weight. Much like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole, it does not work. It damages the motors, causing them to stutter, lose integrity and ultimately break down. Less ATP, the primary energy currency of our biology that makes life possible, is produced, until there is no more. Deuterium depletion and the science of deuteronomics are probably new to you. Depletion means reducing the total body burden of deuterium. When you reduce deuterium in the body by 20% you allow an enormous amount more ATP energy to be produced. The mitochondrial knowledge to have been the less deuterium, the more energy, the foundation of our health.